Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. There's a lot of ideas news. A few new sets got 10,000 votes for the next review stage. The 2020 first review stage winners were announced. A couple more small set reveals here and there. And an interesting seasonal set, which I hope becomes a trend for other authors later down the line. First, let me say though that the new custom build that went up in the web store this week, www.brickvault.toys, is an original design from my brother. It is the mini Minifig Scale Leo. This is the main grunt mobile suit from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. It comes in the classic army green or olive green if you're going by Lego colors. It's got a ton of posability, a stand for extra stability, and in general, it's just a really cool model that I think you guys should check out. Link in the description below. All right, now jumping into the top story of the week. I am sure a lot of people have a lot of things to say about the results from the first 2020 review results. Statistics Statistically speaking, nobody could have had their favorite set approved because there were a massive amount of sets up for review this time around. And for one reason or another, only one got approved, and that is the Earth Globe by Disney Brick. 55. It is a decent size rotating globe build. It's actually kind of a cool project, but remember there were 26 other ones out there, and I think most people were hopeful to have at least a couple projects get approved this time around. There is a Sonic set that is still up in the air, whether or not that will get approved. It's got a big Dr. Robotnik brick built fig, so that will be announced next time around. And they also announced the winner to the Music to Our Ears contest test that was out. The legendary Stratocaster by Tomoel will end up getting turned into a, an ideas set as well. I do think the Earth Globe is a cool project at the end of the day, and I'm very curious to know what you guys think about the review results. There are 35 up for the next review stage, and so I think some people are going to be a little bit dismayed or possibly pessimistic about only one or two possibly getting uh, approved for the next stage, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There are a lot of different factors that go into why a project gets approved or does not. Now, speaking of idea sets, getting voted into review stages, two more got voted in. This is Bag End from Saab Fan. No surprise here. I remember seeing this project first getting built and how people were responding. It is absolutely excellent. The qualities are great. The presentation is so nice with uh, the little page detailing on the end of the book. And this is a license that LEGO has had before in the past, so who knows? Maybe uh, this does have a fight chance. Next up is the Bricktown Police Station with 10,000 votes of support. The builder is Bricked 1980 and it is built in a similar style or same style as the modular Lego building. The inclusion of the donut shop next to the police station is basically mandatory as far as I'm concerned is a really good idea but I have a feeling this does fall into the category of being too similar to a project that Lego probably has on the back burner at some point. There is no way that LEGO doesn't have at least a couple of different versions of police stations already pre-built for their modular building line. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I have very high doubts that this will get approved, though it is an excellent set and I can see why people voted on it in the first place. LEGO revealed their Elf Clubhouse designer video with Chris McVeigh as the lead designer. It's kind of cool. I remember following Chris on Flickr as a fan designer and he's been working for LEGO. The set looks really cool. And in general, I'm a fan of designer videos because they talk a little bit more about the process and that kind of stuff just interests me and uh, my brother here at the studio. Then there's a really, really interesting seasonal gift with purchase set that's going to be coming down the line or most likely a gift with purchase set. This is the Charles Dickens tribute set and it's specifically, it's a Christmas carol. That's basically his most famous or popular book, I'm not totally sure. And the set includes Scrooge, Bob, and Tiny Tim. Nobody knows exactly when or how you're going to be able to get this set, but uh, the rumor is, or it is most likely that it's going to be something as a gift with purchase. It would be kind of interesting if we got more of these author tribute sets just in general. I know this is just a one-time seasonal thing, but if they were to continue with this trend, I'm curious to know what other uh, author tribute sets would look like. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I feel like Chuck Palahniuk tribute would be a really interesting set. And then two more LEGO San Diego Comic-Con 2020 exclusive sets were revealed. First up is the Nebulon B, if I'm not mistaken. 
mistaken, I believe this is the first time we have seen a Nebulon B appear as a Lego set at all. So that is pretty exciting. And they honestly did a decent job. It's a little bit upscaled from our nano scale fleet that we have in the web store that is supposed to be the correct size compared to a Star Destroyer. But with the extra size does come a lot of interesting details. And I particularly like the way they got the Nano Falcon to fit in. The Nebulon B has 459 pieces, will most likely be available on the Lego shop soon, and I don't believe there is a price officially listed. The next set is the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Taskmasters Ambush set. This one's really funny because it, I mean, it's based on the Black Widow movie, and the Black Widow movie has been postponed, so, you know, it's showing off a particular scene with some characters doing some fighting. That little six-wheeler set here definitely looks familiar to something that we got as a Lego set a few years back in the past. What's really going to add value to this set is, of course, the minifigures included. And once again, we don't have a price for it, but it is 230 pieces. Box art for both of them, by the way, does look pretty great. I usually don't care about box art unless it's really, really good box art. And this is really, really good box art. The Lego Super Mario Toads Special Hideaway Expansion set is now available for purchase. And also, here's just a reveal. I do like the little build for the purple mushroom house. Maybe that's lavender. And lastly, Lego is supporting a Bionicle game that was fan-made. Six years in the making. It is an RPG. It looks kind of interesting. Honestly, the trailer makes it look pretty good. I'm curious to see how fan fans react to this game when it launches. People have been saying for a long time that a Lego themed MMO style RPG style game would uh, possibly be really successful. Maybe Lego is testing the water supporting this fan made uh, creation here. And of course this is like going to be great for diehard Bionicle fans. Also very quickly the Lego Levi's products are available right now so if you wanted to get Lego themed clothing that is now a thing. And the same thing goes with the Ikea Lego sets too. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, also on top of that, the Christmas sets can be found and can be bought as well. That includes the Christmas wreath and the Brickhead's Nutcracker. Anyways, that is it for the top stories of the week. Links to everything I talk about and more are in the description below. And if you have any extra time, I highly recommend you check out our web store, www.brickvault.toys. If nothing else, you should at least check out the intro to that video. I really like making those weird little musical cuts. Thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!